be available for Ulster final or the the round after that if we were, if we were beating the Ulster final. But um, maybe maybe the quarter final, maybe the quarter final. So we'll have to wait and see. But it's disappointing for him now because he's worked very hard in aspects of his game that weren't natural to him and changed the way he played to try and suit, suit us and fit into the way we were trying to play and uh, he done that very successfully and, and also continued to fetch ball for us you know, and he is a very strong primary possession winner you know, so it's going to be a big loss to us in the lead into the match but um, I suppose you know we've missed Michael and Neil McGee and a few other players through the course of the championship and you know we've dealt with it well psychologically anyway we, you know we weren't looking over his shoulder where Michael was or Neil or anybody else we just have to try and get on with it because that's all you can do so um, that's the approach that will have to happen here again and you know I'd have to say as well that we're privileged enough in the sense that you know we've had this injury, but you know in, in relation to Down, say, or maybe Tyrone or some of the other teams in the province, they've had more serious injuries than us this year. You know, and they always get one or so, but they've had they're more than their fair share. So you know, apart from the, it is a fairly healthy squad, and everybody's good enough uh, fettle at the minute, and we're happy with where they're at. And even the fellas that were out long term, they're they're not far off the lads that have been training all year. So you have to be, you can't have it every way really. You know. The one problem you had yourself too in the semi-final one, it lasted a couple of minutes. I mean, is that cleared up now or is it even an issue? I it's cleared up. I've been training now this past two days, so I have no way of so that's all good. Fingers crossed that his wounds out to the final. I suppose a couple of other boys too, I mean, Carrion Small and Eagles, but Jim was alluded to that he's hoping all them boys have pulled through and we're going to need everybody on board because down or down and we come along. Oh, definitely down. Down will fancy themselves big time. Like, even the talk from down that they will fancy themselves because they good tradition down and there's good players, all good forward line and so they, they definitely fancy themselves. I mean, everybody's there training now so um, it's been a good three weeks, you know, you know, you're gain for an also fine, that's where you want to be. Um, training was you know, it was it was good, like it was tough and every man was working hard, you had all the numbers there, all the boys were back from college, you know. Um, injury wise we weren't looking too bad so we had everybody. Um, but it was just a matter of putting down the head. You know, it was a great position to be in. And we also finally gained after last year and you know, second year in a row and to maybe achieve something that you know we'd only got achieved before. But as I say, um, down our good side, they've good success against Donegal in recent years. You know, I played uh, against them under John Joe who came on that day and you know, that didn't go well for us, you know, so um, they have good success against us, you know, and they're good side and you can't do that. I suppose one of the things we talked about earlier in the year too was the square ball thing coming in, how we did with it. I suppose it was much ado about nothing, they ended up and it didn't really factor in the National League or... It never really, you know, came into play in that there, and I suppose you're only working from, from game to game in that there, and possibly we know if um, there's a high ball dropping around the square, as I said before, here, Sam, um, ball at six foot five, he should be well able to deal with it, you know, and I say he's definitely big enough and sometimes maybe ugly enough to, to come out and claim it in that there, so um, now we'd have no fear of um, Paul being able to deal with high balls. Um, you, you talked there about Donegal's offensive game, and you've managed to get up and add a few more scores this, this year in the Last year, and all speaking to you last year, that was something that you wanted to add to the game. Ah, that's right, I told you that. <laughs> Listen, as I said, look, every day you go out, every day, every game is going to be different. If you get up, you get up. If you don't, you don't. You know, it's whatever job Jimmy Guinness and Rory Valley give me, the, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever the game you know, And I'm not going to change because if whatever the team's doing, and we're at the minute, we're doing right. We haven't lost an Ulster Championship game. To two years at the minute, so we're going to go out and whatever whatever job if they give me lucky if I'm lucky enough to get playing on, on, on a Sunday week, whatever job they're going to give me, I'm going to try to do it. If, if it means get up the field, get up the field. If it means playing corner forward, means playing corner back. I'll do whatever I can to win the Ulster medley. Just to work on the there the last day, and up in the warm up, and I did come off. Neil's good. Neil's good. And Paddy McGrath was under pressure as well. Ryan was under pressure. We had Martin Riley, uh, who's the other guy who's struggling. Than to his post, but he's, he's, he's back jogging on it now again. But all the players that kind of had a bit of hamstring problems, they've all kind of resolved themselves during this week. And uh, it was, I suppose, 
we were very happy with the decision for the club championships to be put off because them players would have been under serious pressure to play in them games. We probably would have lost one or two of them, you know. So you made a very passionate plea, Jim. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> very passionate person. Getting <laughs> 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 very personal. <laughs> <laughs> Social networker, too. I see you be on Twitter a lot. I mean, is that something all the team have taken after you? Were you the guy that started with them in the golf squad? Well, I wouldn't like to say I was the person that started in that day, though, but um, I certainly have. Um, so you know, I've got to speed very quickly on it, you know, I wouldn't have been a Facebook fan, but I'm definitely up on Twitter there now, but I need to watch what I'm saying now. Train on Saturday and, um, and then we'll, we'll see what we're like then, we'll see what we, we feel we do, and, you know, sometimes we go Saturday physical and Sunday tactical, um, to have a right bit of work done, you know, and um, we're, we're happy with where they're at, conditioning wise, we don't want to maybe overkill them, we'll train on Tuesday next week and then maybe something very light on the Thursday and then run into the game and, and uh, take it from there, so it's either Saturday and Sunday this weekend or just Saturday and then um, how, how good we feel to go on Saturday. And you're definitely not taking any credit for Dirk and Sale with his big toe because I know you injured your own. I mean, I see you're off the crutches there and the cast gone too, so I mean, that's worked out well. <laughs> Lucky to be off the crutches, not there, and you know, and um, thankfully, again, the medical team looked after me very well. Good one. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs>